Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. Thank you for checking out our cartographer patch for the Line 6 Helix. You just saw Bradford sort of do a demonstration of what you can do with this thing, but I'm gonna walk through the patch and show you exactly what you get and what you can do with it. So this patch is based on the cartographer amp in the Line 6 Helix, which is sort of unique. It's actually, uh, it's an amp that one of the Line 6 employees built. If you downloaded this patch before the firmware the 2.5 firmware came out. Uh, this will be a free update to you with the new reverbs in it. Um, <clears throat> kind of rearranged a little bit. It, it acts exactly the same. It has just the new reverb sounds in it. So if you've purchased it uh, previously before that firmware came out, look for an email from Worship Tutorials and uh, it'll be a free update for you. If you don't see that, uh, send an email to support at worshiptutorials.com and I'll get you taken care of with the new version. I'll be demonstrating this patch today with this Shelton Electric Instruments Skyflight 4. The reason I chose this guitar is it has uh, single coils and a humbucker type pickup. It also has the ability to like uh, act like a two pickup guitar where it, you, know, you can just use just the bridge and the neck together and the bridge can be split to single coils as well. So here's the basic clean tone. Um, all I've got on is just running through the amp and uh, just a short haul reverb. <coughs> Sounds like that. And this would be uh, in the middle position uh, like with a humbucker and a single neck. Uh, just the neck. And just the bridge as a humbucker. So you can tell on a, a higher output bridge, it's gonna push the amp a little bit. Uh, bridge with just this P90 style pickup. And then just the Strat style, or the not Strat style, it's a Strat pickup. Okay, so that is uh, the clean part of the amp. Now, if your guitar has lower or higher output, you'll want to adjust the gain stage of the amp uh, to suit how you like a, a clean sound. But we've set it up so that it drives a little bit when you push it with a, a higher output um, bridge pickup. That's how I like to set things up. And the, the overdrives in the patch will correspond to that. So speaking of overdrives, you have three options. You have uh, 808, Tube Screamer style, a Klon and the Timmy, all from the Helix. And so I'll just leave it in the bridge humbucker position and demonstrate, uh, I'll just go through each one in a row, show you what they sound like. So these are uh, pretty expressive. The amp is, is pretty expressive. You back off on like a bridge single coil and it will clean up really nice. You can also stack these humbuckers for you know higher gain options. So for example, the 808 and the Klon together on the bridge. So Bradford, who helped me design this patch, uh, loves tremolo. So we added a trem, uh, tremolo pedal in it, and just the regular tremolo sounds like this. That is not tied to a, a tempo, so it's always gonna sound like that when you turn it on. The other thing Bradford loves to do, he has this tremolo, I think it's by Chase Bliss, I think it's the Gravitas. Brad, if you're watching, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But it does this thing where it ramps the speed up and down, uh, and he likes to hit that at the end of a song and it kind of speeds up. It's a really cool effect. We wanted to replicate it in this patch just for fun, so this may or may not be something you, you want. So what we did was we copied that same tremolo pat, uh, pedal and we've added it to the button on the expression pedal. So if you're in expression two, that's volume. Okay, if you push the button down, it activates the other tremolo, and then the pedal 
uh, is the speed of the tremolo. So when the pedal is down, it's slow, which, and when you pull your foot back, it speeds up, which may not make sense, but if you think about it, when you hit the pedal, your foot's gonna be down. So that's when it's in its slow setting, and then if you wanna speed it up, you pull back. So this is what it sounds like. I'll just hit a chord and show you. Again, so now it's on, I hit the pedal. So that's a pretty cool trick if you love tremolo, you can try that out and see if you like it. Um, if you don't like that and you're worried about like, oh, what if I push my volume pedal down too hard and I accidentally hit that switch, you can just remove that uh, tremolo uh, pedal out of the patch and it, and it won't mess with anything. Okay, so let's move on to delays. You've got two delays at your feet. You've got a dotted eighth note delay and a quarter note delay. So the dotted eighth is kind of a digital delay. And the quarter note delay is more of an analog delay. And then if you put them on together, they're, they're in series, so they'll sort of feed into each other. Okay, and so the dotted eighth note delay, you can do dotted eighth note things. put them on together, uh, it'll give you more of a washy kind of a sound. Okay, so reverbs in the amp. The first reverb we have is uh, what I call a short verb. I think it's a hall or maybe a plate, but it just kind of gives you the sound of an amp in a room. So it's not just completely dry. We added another reverb, which is the Line 6 Glitz reverb. It's brand new. And it's big and ambient. So if you're playing uh, with that on, it's gonna be it's gonna be that kind of classic ambient sound. Uh, here it is with a clon and some quarter note delay. So that big modulated verb is not gonna overtake your sound. It's got a little pre-delay to let your attack come through as well. One thing to be careful on though uh, with reverb, too much of it in a, in a full mix is gonna just make you disappear as a guitar player and turn your sound pretty much into mud. So one thing to be aware of, okay? The other thing we have in here is a swells button and the swells button turns on uh, three pedals. It turns on a Cosmos Echo, which is a Space Echo, really ambient delay, and that won't change based on your tempo, your tap tempo. It turns on the, uh, I think it's the Searchlights uh, reverb, super ambient reverb, and a little bit of the old Octo from the Legacy reverbs. I just like it um, in small doses. It sounds great. So this is what uh, the swells sound like, and I've left my modulated verb on. It just makes it bigger. So you can see that trails when you turn it off. Uh, you know, you can, you can do a big swell and then turn the swells button off and just play underneath it. Uh, gives you a great, you know, ambient sound. Okay, there's a looper in here as well. It just works like a regular looper. Uh, if you go into snapshot mode, we've added snapshots on this patch. So uh, just some basic sounds. Uh, you may want to use it this way. Instead of like turning pedals on and off, you can just get these sounds. So the first snapshot is just called clean. Uh, it's your basic clean sound with a little bit of reverb and a quarter note delay. <laughs> The next one I call, we call light drive. So the light drive, you could think of it like as your first stage overdrive. The next snapshot is the big drive. Think of that as your second stage 
overdrive, like a big, you know, chorus or bridge, something like that. <laughs> got a little delay in there as well. We added a lead snapshot. Now it's not tied to a foot switch in stomp box mode, but there is a, a boost, just a, a gain boost um, in, in the patch. And that's what the lead does. So if you're playing, it just gives you a volume boost. So, you know, for a solo. reverb in it as well. Kind of a, you know, think of it as a solo sort of a, a switch. So the next snapshot is called the edge. So I'm going to go to my two position uh, single coil mode. And you know, it sounds like to you too. Okay, that's the edge. Next is clean verb. So it's just that big uh, modulated reverb. Next is clean uh, tremolo, so just got the tremolo with the clean setting. And then finally there is a swells snapshot, which is basically the swells button with all the other verbs and delays on. Here it comes, here, here we go, it sounds like this. So that is it. That's all the sounds and the snapshots you can get from the cartographer patch. Uh, this thing will work well for you in most any worship, you know, modern praise and worship uh, type setting. And uh, like I said, it's got the new uh, firmware 2.5 reverbs in it in the modulated and swells section. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.